Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi and we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is structure and bonding. So at this stage, we're going to uh, discuss giant ionic structures. Uh, ionic structures are structures that are formed by ionic compounds. They are structures that are formed by ionic compounds. Once they are repeated several times in a regular pattern. Uh, for example, uh, sodium chloride, if it is repeated uh, several times, it forms an ionic structure because uh, sodium chloride is an ionic compound. So an ionic compound repeated uh, several times forms an ionic structure. And because that structure is usually very big, that's why it's called a giant ionic structure. It consists of a very large number of ions, very large number of positive ions and negative ions. So uh, these are structures formed when ionic compounds are repeated in a regular pattern a regular pattern consisting of a large number of ions uh, so we're going to have an example uh, an example of uh, a giant ionic structure of uh, sodium chloride so we're going to have a structure of sodium chloride So we'll have a structure of sodium chloride crystal and uh, this structure of sodium chloride crystal is a three dimension and in this three dimension structure we'll find that uh, each sodium ion is surrounded by six chloride ions and each chloride ion is surrounded by six sodium ions in a repeated manner to form a uh, a structure or to form a three-dimensional uh, structure so for example uh, if uh, I can also try to draw it a bit this is a sodium it's surrounded by chloride a chloride a chloride and a chloride those are four and of course, plus one on this side, inside, and one on this side. And then the chloride is surrounded by sodium, six of them. These are sodium there. There's also a sodium here. These are sodium on this side, and there is another one on the other side. So the same case applies to the sodium, to a chloride, to a chloride, to a chloride, and uh, this chloride again to a sodium, the chloride to a sodium, this a sodium, chloride, and this is a sodium. So in this case we are saying that this structure when it is repeated, we cannot be able to see what is on the other side, but we are saying that it forms a regular pattern whereby each sodium is surrounded by six chlorides. One, two, three, four, and one on this side and the other one on the other side. And each chloride is surrounded by uh, also six. For this one, uh, six sodium, we have one, two, three, four, five, and 
six, the one on top. So you're saying that, uh, so in the above structure, each sodium ion is surrounded by six chloride ions and each chloride ion is surrounded by six sodium ions that are equidistant from one another equal distance equidistant from one another in a repeated manner in a repeated manner to form a regular pattern called giant ionic structure. So that's how the structure of uh, sodium chloride uh, looks like. So you're saying that each sodium ion is surrounded by six chloride ions and each chloride ion is surrounded by uh, six sodium ions that are equidistant from one another to form a regular uh, pattern or the, a regular three-dimensional pattern like we have seen. Uh, we can also have uh, other examples of giant ionic structure include potassium nitrate, sodium iodide, ETC. So all those have uh, giant ionic uh, structures. So next, uh, let's identify the physical properties of ionic compounds. Physical properties of ionic compounds. These are the compounds with the ionic bonds. One is that they are usually soluble in water. Most of them are soluble in water. They are usually soluble in water uh, because water is a polar solvent. Water is a polar solvent and hence separates the ions in the structure or in the compound. Another physical property of ionic compounds is that they have high melting and boiling points high melting and boiling points because ionic bonds are strong bonds. They are strong bonds that require a lot of heat. Ionic bonds are strong bonds that require a lot of heat to break them. So that's why I'm saying that uh, the melting point and the boiling point is high. So strong bonds that require a lot of heat to break them. 
So if they are weak bones, then they can easily be separated. But here we are talking about strong bones that need a lot of heat to break them. Uh, that's why uh, ionic compounds have high melting and boiling points. And number three is that uh, ionic compounds... Do not conduct an electric current in solid form. However, in aqueous solution or liquid, State, they have mobile ions. They have mobile ions that conduct that conduct electric current. So, in solid form, they do not conduct. But when you melt them into a liquid state or you dissolve them in water, they, they have uh, mobile ions. The ions become mobile and therefore they can conduct uh, electric uh, uh, current. And also they are easily crystallizable. They are easy to change into crystals. So the first question, using an illustration, explain the structure of sodium chloride. Number two, state three physical properties of ionic compounds. So we'll stop there. Until next time, goodbye.